In today's video, I'm going to be building my dream PC. I'm just going to get straight to the point. Let's get into the build. Actually, the packaging on this thing is great because it has anti-static bags so that the motherboard can't get corrupted by static. All right, so we have our motherboard out of the box here. And one of my favorite things about this motherboard is the sleek design of how it just makes it all clean and neat and not look junky. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is put the CPU in the CPU socket. Okay, so for the CPU, I went with the Ryzen 7 7800X3D, and this thing's a beast. And one of the things I love about the AMD boxing is it's just so, such a clean box. And it keeps your CPU super safe. But yeah, we're gonna take it out like, like, uh, like so. With the new 7000 series, Ryzen has completely taken away the pins, which is beautiful. In order to insert the CPU into the CPU socket, all you do is push down this pin, move it out until it releases, and pull it back. And then depending on what motherboard you have, it's either going to lift up like this, or like this. And if you look on your CPU, you'll see a triangle in this corner, but you'll see that triangle in that corner. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna mash up those corners like that, and that's how you know that the CPU is in the correct position. And also I did kind of, I kind of just made sure it was in position. I didn't push down, never push down on your CPU. I just kind of like fit it into position. All right, so now that we have the CPU in the CPU socket, what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull this down and make sure that this little part, there should be this little part right here. You'll see that moving right there. That should be over this. When you're pushing down on this, just know that it's gonna be a pretty hard push. And don't worry, once your bus, this black thing pops off, that means you're good and your CPU is in. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is the RAM. I got some insane RAM. Got DDR5 32 gigabytes with two sticks of 16 gigabyte RAM, and it's 6,000 megahertz of speed, which is insane. so for the last thing for right now is the m.2 ssd so i went with the samsung 980 pro pcie 4.0 nvme m.2 ssd one terabyte all right so now that we have that cover off we can now install our ssd basically concludes it for all the basics that we can do with the motherboard so now let's move on to stuff with the case all right so i've kind of been doing this for a while i'm on the floor and so i had to stop for like three or four hours because the my original plan was to take my power supply out of my old pc and transfer it into my new pc but a change of plans that power supply was not big enough so i'm going with this one 700 watt thermal take which is pretty good and this thing was actually like 54 bucks at best buy so if you're looking to buy a power supply to do it right now the prices are amazing so yeah basically right now i'm just gonna insert this into the pc and then i'll go back to filling all right so i'm not gonna have much footage of the power supply do i really need to say why all right so now here comes the time that we put the motherboard inside the pc all right, so now that we have the panel off, now we can insert the motherboard into the PC. Okay, so we have the motherboard here, and we're just gonna line it up on these holes and gently drop it in here. All right, so most of them aren't aligned. Some of them, like this one's not fully aligned, but once I do these, it'll align itself. 